all the latest transfer gossip involving Zane, De Ligt, Neymar and Mbappe, all the news as we count down to the two European competition finals this week and a look back at the Friday feels and how all the predictions stood up. This and more in the One Football Daily News. I'm your host, Paddy, filling in for Matt, who's on holiday in Greece. And that short-term loan leads us straight into today's transfer news. So is the speculation about Leroy Zane making this one the first transfer saga of the summer? It certainly looks like it with another few twists and turns over the weekend. Manchester City forward Zane is, of course, a Bayern Munich target, with club bosses Uli Hoeneß and Karl-Heinz Rummenigge hardly going backwards in being forwards about the interest in that player. The fact that Bayern had made all this noise about signing Zane, but actually not put a bid in or even got in contact, annoyed the hell out of City. But now it seems that over the weekend, maybe that first contact and that first bid has been made. A price of around 80 million euros is said to be the first offer that Bayern have made. But as we talked about in last week's daily, an offer of around 100 is expected to be much more up City's alley. Now that hasn't stopped a few notable people from continuing to talk up Zane's move to Bayern, with Germany coach Jürgen Löw saying it could actually improve his international chances. Former Bayern skipper Lothar Matthäus has also been pretty vocal about it, saying he is sure the move will go through. Now Matthäus in Germany is known for having an opinion on pretty much everything, even when he's not asked. So we'll see what happens in terms of this prediction. In any case, continue to watch this space for Leroy Zane. Now from one young super talent to another, Matthias De Ligt, and his future is still up in the air, as the youngster has revealed over the weekend. Manchester United and Barcelona are said to be the two clubs leading the chase for De Ligt. Of course, both finished the seasons in desperately disappointing fashion. Could De Ligt be the lift that either club needs? You would argue, yes, of course, he's a fantastic player, but talking from the Netherlands training camp on the weekend, it's clear that either competition is attractive for him, but he still had far from made his decision on where to go. He also counted speculation that United had offered him a whopping £350,000 a week. Now that would make him the most highest paid teenager in the world. Of course, De Ligt will leave Ajax, that has been confirmed, but it still goes to show that there's much to be done in this transfer. Our final piece of transfer talk comes out of France and PSG who have just re-signed coach Thomas Tuchel to a long-term deal ending speculation of a move for Arsene Wenger or Jose Mourinho. At the press conference announcing that news, Tuchel was asked about the futures of Kylian Mbappe and Neymar. Now, Neymar, of course, is linked to a club every second week, so no surprise there, while Mbappe last week admitted he could be up for a new challenge very soon. PSG are, of course, keen to hang on to both players, as you would imagine, but who knows how financial fair play regulations might affect that intention. Now, Tuchel, of course, wants to keep those players himself, but said it would be naive to promise if both would be at the club next season. Let's watch this space as well. Now to things on the pitch and we count down to two European Cup finals this week, of course, featuring an all English lineup. First to Wednesday's Europa League final between Arsenal and Chelsea, and it seems that key blues man N'Golo Kante is in doubt with a knee knock. Now this comes as considerably bad news for the blues, who already have Jorginho in doubt with his own problems, and Ruben Loftus-Cheek, of course, already confirmed out. Eden Hazard will play, but of course it could be his final match for Chelsea ahead of a summer transfer. Arsenal defender Socrates acknowledged the star man's quality, but said there would be no specific plan for Hazard when the two clubs meet in Baku on Wednesday. To Saturday's Champions League final, and Tottenham have their own injury concerns as they count down to that match in Madrid against Liverpool. Harry Winks, Jan Vertonghen and Davison and Chances are all being monitored, but to be truthful, the big focus is on Harry Kane. The good the news is that Harry Kane is probably going to play. The bad news is Mauricio Pochettino does not know how much he can call upon him, either as a starter or maybe just as a sub. As Kane continues to look at that ankle injury, Liverpool are in far better health, which might partially explain why they are such short favourites to take that title in Madrid on Saturday. Finally, a look back at our Friday feels when you guys left your predictions underneath our YouTube video. Now, Matt, of course, is on holiday, but his poor performance, he bombed big time, has put his place in one football under threat when he does return. Now, Matt predicted that RB Leipzig would upset Bayern in the final of the DFB Pokal on Saturday. Bad luck, buddy. He also bombed badly when he said that Barcelona would have no trouble getting past Valencia in the Copa del Rey final. Also wrong. 
Now, Valencia's win meant that many of you struggled as well, with Michael Ninipu one of the few to shine, almost nailing a perfect prediction with a 3-1 win to Bayern and a 2-0 win to Valencia over Barcelona. But that's it for another One Football Daily News to start your week off right. Thanks for joining us. We'll see you tomorrow.